Hi there everybody, welcome back to the channel. You're watching The Ritter Bit Will Do, and I cannot wait to tell you about the deal that I found. It is gonna knock your socks off. Stick around. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you probably know that I am, I'm in the market for a new truck, right? I've been in the market for a new truck for a long time, and I finally found something that's gonna fit the bill, okay? So the reason that I need a new truck, and this is why, guys, my current truck is a 1999 Ford F-150. It's got the wall dock conversion package. It's got all of the bells and whistles that you could possibly get back in 1999. However, the towing rating of a truck from 1999, the max towing rating for my current truck is just under 8,000 pounds, which is dismal, right? And it's got the it's got the big V8 that Ford offered, right? It's got the what is it? I think it's a 5.4, 5.3, or 5.4 Triton, right? It's been, it's running great. It's only got 60,000 miles, but it doesn't tow really well. It's horrible towing. I've got the I've got that big 18-foot steel trailer, and the trailer itself weighs 2,200 pounds. And then I put my BX23S on there, which all together is you know with attachments and stuff. I'm looking at 3,000 pounds. You know, I'm getting close to the max level. It's not something that I like to tow three hours back and forth when I go up north to Yukon Acres. So I needed something to fill that towing issue that I have. <laughs> I finally found it. I finally found the truck I was looking for. This is, and it's perfect because, and I'll tell you why, you know truck insurance? You know how expensive truck insurance is on new vehicles? It's ridiculous, right? But on my 1999 F-150 for full coverage, for full coverage, I paid just around like $300 a year for full coverage on my truck. That's pretty darn good, I think. That's pretty, full coverage. <laughs> so that's pretty darn good. So I did not want to go out and buy a brand spanking new F-150 that's gonna cost me somewhere between probably forty-five and fifty thousand dollars with with everything that I wanted, right? I, I want I want something comfortable that we can take the family on long trips. So, uh, you know, it's it's got to have some bells and whistles, right? It's got to have some nice stuff. Um, I probably would be looking at the at least an upper XLT package or the Lariat package, because with the three point five liter V six EcoBoost, that with the right trim level will tow more than 10,000 pounds with a V6 and get better gas mileage. So that's what I was kind of looking for, but I didn't want to pay that kind of price for a brand new truck. You know what I mean? I, I just didn't. And insurance wise on a brand new truck like that, through the roof. I, I, I don't want to do it if I don't have to. So I've been thinking <laughs> for a long time, if I could find an old truck that's capable of towing during the summertime when I'm towing, going back and forth, I could keep my old 99 and that could I could still use that truck. I could still, you know, make do local stuff, like run to the run to the gravel pit and get a small load of uh, gravel in my dump trailer and, and not drive three hours <laughs> with a with a heavy load, right? So I found something. I finally found it. You guys, I bet you've never heard, maybe some of you have, but I bet you've never heard of a Ford N series, not an F series, a Ford N series truck. They made them only for a small bit of time back in the 60s, 60s, 1960s, I think from 65 to 71, Ford produced this truck they called the N series. And they made it, I think they started at like an F500 to an F900, okay? So I finally found a truck. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. It's a, it's a Ford N Series 750. It's got a big 391 V8 in there, you know. It's got a, it's got a, a, a carburetor type of engine, right? So it's older stuff, but I'm only using it in the summertime. So here's the cool thing about this 1967 Ford N 750. Here's the cool thing about it. It only has 10,000 original miles. <laughs> it's brand new, right? It's practically brand new from the 60s. Super excited about it. It's 
it's going to tow whatever I want to tow. Okay, it'll tow anything I want. So super excited about it. Uh, can't wait to show it to you guys. Uh, yeah, it used to be an old fire truck, and you know fire departments. They used to take. They they still do. They take really good care of their stuff. So you know that it uh, it got it was cared for, right? So my plan for it, I'm probably going to put a flatbed on it, and probably maybe maybe uh, maybe a flatbed with uh, low sides that can dump or something. I don't know. It, right now, I I'm just would be able to love to use it for towing, right? Okay, so a little more about this story now. Here was the deal. I'm always scouring the internet for deals, right? So I came across this truck and I showed the picture. I, I found it on, on Facebook Marketplace and, and I hold my phone up and I show, honey, look, I found, I found what I'm looking for, right? I found the truck I was looking for. And she's like, you don't need it. <laughs> like, yeah, I do. <laughs> Yeah, I do. She did not want me to buy this thing oh, one bit. So I, uh, during this whole stretch, you know, I, I took about three days. I wanted to do my research on it, right? I wanted to research, make sure that this was a truck that was going to be for me, that make sure that it was going to tow and everything. So I spent that time looking at every single Ford N series YouTube video that exists. I'm pretty sure I've seen all of them by now. All right. And I have, I, I looked at all sorts of different forums online about uh, how really great they are for towing. They're this perfect for towing. It's an old truck that can tow, cheap insurance, cheap, cheap up front. Might have to pay a little bit more for gas, but that's not really that big of a deal, okay? So, yeah, <laughs> I'm super excited about it. Let's see, what else? Oh, yeah, all right. All right, enough of this. Let's go take a look at it. Come on. All right, you guys ready to see this? Let's get this door open. Super excited, guys. You're gonna love this thing. <laughs> Check it out. Oh, man. That's my 1999 F-150. You might notice that there's, there's not a Ford N-Series in my driveway right now. It's not, it's not there. You wanna know why, guys? I messed up. I messed up. I decided that I would ask my wife for permission to go get this truck. And it took her three days before I finally got a whatever. And I took that whatever. I'm like, okay, I'm going to set up a time with this guy that's selling it. And I had a time, right? I had a time. So the other day, early hours, I was ready to go. I was going to go see this truck. And just before I got out of the house, I get a text from this guy. He sold it. He sold it before I could even get to see it. Oh man. And I don't blame him. I'm not mad at the guy. I would have sold it too, you know? I mean, he's trying to, trying to sell his truck right away. But guys, he only wanted $4,500 for that thing. I thought that was a pretty darn good deal. $4,500, I can't go wrong. If it doesn't work out for me, I can sell it for $4,500, not gonna be a problem. Would have been nice. And I'm sorry that I made you watch this whole video thinking that you're gonna see my brand new old truck. Maybe another time, but let this be a lesson to you guys, okay? Let this be a lesson. And maybe I'm just, maybe I, I'm just not smart enough to figure it out, but I don't know. I learned the hard way, so let it be a lesson to you. If you find something online that you're just you just fall in love with go buy it right go buy that thing whatever it is if it's a trailer a truck a tractor four-wheeler whatever it is don't ask for for permission just go buy it right beg for forgiveness later okay the consequences are going to be relatively mild anyway compared to the enjoyment that you'll get out of whatever you're going to buy you will have no regrets like me, I got regrets. I wish that I would have went and just bought the thing. Well, honey, what do you have to say for yourself? I'm sorry. So not only would it have been a fun truck to own and restore and, and customize and do what I wanted to, but it would have been really awesome YouTube content. Wouldn't you admit? Even would, you would have had yeah, to admit. It was that a would have very been cool truck. Very cool. Very cool. Well, you have to apologize to these guys. I apologize to the YouTube community that the truck was not bought. 
if we in the future have the chance to have two trucks versus one i guess that it would be okay to have two trucks there you go and guys. a vehicle we got it on video now that's what we wanted <laughs> the whole time she's no we got we got the green light documented all right you want to close this out keep on tractoring and god bless <laughs>